I had you turn to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Of course, this is a shorter sermon tonight, but um, I'm going to close on this. Of course, salvation just relies on the truth, on knowing the truth, on receiving the truth. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. We have to receive the truth from God's word in order to be saved. Uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 kind of spells this out a little bit better. Look at verse number 10. The Bible reads, And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. You're saying the people that perish, the people that die and go to hell, they didn't receive the love of the truth. Verse 12, That they all might be damned who believed not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. And it's contrasting there just receiving the truth with forsaking the truth and just going off and having pleasure in unrighteousness. Why? Because the truth is going to tell you what's right and what's wrong. So people prefer to have unrighteousness. I don't want to know what's right, so I'm going to go just have, just enjoy not being right, not receiving the truth, not receiving the right way and just go that way instead. Whatever that may be. The, the, the people who don't believe the truth, they enjoy their unrighteousness of whatever their false God is or their false way to heaven or anything. That's, that's what they're going to enjoy, their unrighteousness. It's the wrong way, unright. Verse number 13, But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. You believe the truth. People who believe a lie are going to go to hell. People who believe the truth are going to go to heaven. It's that simple. It really is that simple when you break it down.